Hello everyone, this is an ArcGIS tutorial to show you how to navigate around your workspace as well as taking a brief look at all the various menu options that are available to you. Alright, the first navigation tool we have is the zoom in button, which is the little magnifying glass with a plus symbol on it. To use it, simply click it, then click and hold the mouse button over an area that you want to zoom into. You can also, I believe, uh, just click on an area just to do a brief zoom in as well. We can also zoom out of an area using the zoom out icon as well. The next tool that we can use is the pan icon which is with this little hand. Uh, using the pan icon you're then allowed to move around your map freely without changing the uh, scale and zoom extent of the map. The next two options available to us are a fixed zoom in and fixed zoom out scale respectively. Just by clicking on it, we then zoom in and zoom out at a gradual pace. In between the fixed zoom in and zoom out as well as the pen icon is the full extent icon which is represented by the little globe. Uh, just by clicking on that, you then zoom out to the full extent of the map. Now from here on, I'll just go ahead and briefly highlight each of the respective tools that you can use. Now ArcGIS itself also has a wide variety of customization options uh, for each sort of menu. Only a few menus are actually displayed uh, when you initially open up the ArcGIS program, but you can customize it to have any sort of different uh, menus and toolbars to appear whenever you need them. In addition with the menus, we also have access to uh, a Python, interf Python interface window. We also have access to an Arc toolbox, which is a huge custom toolbox of special geoprocessing as well as spatial database functions uh, that, that we can use at any time. Now something also to note is that some of these toolbar options are actually not available unless you meet spec uh, specify requirements. Uh, for instance, if you actually um, toggle editing mode on, uh, some options in the editing drop down menu will actually uh, become available for you to use. So just something to keep in mind. One thing I do want to show though is a cool little feature called bookmark, which in essence what bookmark does is that depending on where your map is focused on, say for instance I want to look at Massachusetts for, in, uh, for example, we can then create a bookmark of this area and that will allow us to quickly zoom into this area whenever we need it under our uh, view options. Now something I actually forgot to note is that uh, your mouse wheel also performs its own unique functions. Uh, for instance, if you move the mouse wheel up and down, you'll actually be allowed to zoom in and zoom out. And by clicking and holding it, you'll then be allowed to actually pan your map around. Now the last thing I want to show here is if you right click on the open menu space, you unlock the various toolbar uh, options that you can turn on at any time. Those that turn on will have a little check mark next to them. You can see there is a quite a bunch of different options that we can uh, have fun with. But for now, let's go ahead and pick the draw option. As you can see, the toolbar then appears. We can then have it attached to any sort of menu, either on the top or bottom of the screen, or we can just leave it uh, free floating around. In any case, this concludes this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.